what you bring to the table working hard girl hey um okay so i'm back with another video <clears throat> uh so today i'm going to be talking about how i got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes um i've had it for almost seven years i got diagnosed <laughs> uh, I got diagnosed in October of 2011. It was third grade, and I had just turned eight. Um, I had been, like, urinating in the bed a lot. Um, I was losing weight. I was getting, like, smaller than what I was. I was tired a lot. Um... So my mom just thought I had a urinary tract infection. So she decided to take me to the doctor after school. And that day I had cheer clinic. I mean, I wanted to go. I didn't want to go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor or whatever. They checked my pee. So they, had, so they had me pee in a cup. And they checked my A1C and my blood sugar. So it turns out I had ketones it's something so it's like when your blood sugar runs high a lot it's something in your pee well for diabetics um and then my blood sugar was 520 that's way too high and my a1c was 15.4 which is off the charts um so they told my mom that I was diagnosed with diabetes and um, she was very upset and she was crying. I started crying too. I didn't know what it was, but I was crying because I couldn't go to cheer clinic because I had to go straight to the hospital. They were going to rush me to the hospital, I think, but they didn't. They let me go home, get my clothes and all that. And my Nana... Ooh, excuse me. My Nana and my mom, they took me to Riley Hospital. It's in Indianapolis, Indiana. That's where I'm from. And um, I had to wait in the ER. Uh, I'm doing a video. Oh. Mommy. Oh. Okay, my bad. My mom had interfered. Okay, I think I was at the part where I, um, where I got to the hospital. I was in the emergency room and <clears throat> I had been in the bed. They put me on the IV or whatever. I was really upset because I could go to the cheer clinic. I mean, what eight year old wants to spend their night in a hospital? So the lady, they let me play on like their tablet and stuff. Okay, I was fine. Then I got admitted and they took me upstairs. The hospital was really nice. We had McDonald's, they had the Wii. It was, it was fun. Um, I had a good time, like, they had, like, little playrooms and stuff, so, like, to basically, like, you know, keep the kids company. Um, so, I was in the hospital for about a week. Oh, and during that time, I had a, I had a yeast infection, I think. So, it was just going bad for me. Like, life went downhill for a, for an eight-year-old. I was going through it. But, um, I had to go through classes and classes and classes because, like, I didn't know anything about it, and my mom didn't know as much. Um, my grandparents also had to go through classes, like, if they, like, if my mom wasn't with me and I had to be with them, they went through classes. So, it was a lot of classes, and it was a lot of, it was just a lot of information that we had to absorb before I could go home. Um, so I went home or whatever. My mom went to the store. She bought sugar-free everything, but sugar-free things have more carbs than regular things. So it was like, there's no point buying sugar-free. Um, my doctors told me that I could not drink regular soda. So like, I couldn't drink Sprite anymore. Like, I mean, now I drink, like, I'll take sips of my parents' drinks. But now I'm so used to diet, it's like regular taste nasty to me. Like, I love Diet Dr. Pepper, Sprite Zero, like all that. 
but it's just like regular tastes so nasty because I've been drinking diet for the past six and a half years so it's like it's disgusting um I'm trying to think of what else um oh when I was there I also had to learn how to like give myself shots um check my blood sugar and you know how to calculate and all that it's really a lot of information like it's it was a lot for me to take in um I mean now it's like I go like that when I do it. like people were like oh my god it's so fast and it's just like yeah I mean I'm so used to it and like some people like to hide it but I don't care if I'm your friend or if I first meet you, I'm going to tell you that I have it. Because, like, let's say that we're out and I end up passing out. You don't know what's wrong with me. So I, I have to tell you so you can know, like, what's going on. Because I could be anywhere and anything could happen, you know? Um, whew, excuse me. Most of my friends who I hang out with, they know. My family, they know. I mean, it doesn't change me as a person. And it doesn't... Um, it doesn't affect who I am at all. It doesn't affect my schoolwork. Um, it doesn't really affect anything. The only thing that affects is my my body system. But I'm fine. Um, it's a lot of work. Some like It gets so hard to take my medicine all the time. Because it's like you're out in public with your friends. And you can't just go ahead and eat right away. Like You have to stop and check your blood sugar and take your medicine and it's just like it's just like I'm not gonna say that I'm not normal but it's like it's like I'm not cause it's like when you're out with your friends it's like they don't have to do any of that stuff and then you have to do it and they just sit there and watch you like um also like when I go out and like people be like that doesn't hurt or like da -da -da -da. like I don't really care about questions but it's just like why ask like does it really matter but I don't mind I answer anyway but I mean now it doesn't hurt as it doesn't hurt really because it's been going on for so long so it's like I'm used to it and I mean it's it it gets hard because if you do like one thing wrong like, I could lose limbs in the future. Like, diabetes just doesn't affect your pancreas. It, like, affects... It could affect your heart, your kidneys. It could affect anything. Like, it's just a lot. I mean, I'm going to have it for the rest of my life until they find a cure. And if they don't, I mean, I think I'll be fine. I feel like I'm going to live long. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it is what it is. I mean... My mom deals with it well. My dad deals with it well. Everybody, they deal with it well. It's just the only thing is that they're like, can you have this? Da, da, da. I can have anything I want. I just have to take medicine for it. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I can, I can do anything. Like, I can still do sports. I cheer. That's, that's a lot of energy. Uh, I ran track. I played volleyball. I mean... I can still play sports and I can still go swimming. I can I can still do a lot of stuff. It's just like before activities, like I have to take a snack so my blood sugar won't go low or like, or the worst things are like if I wake up in the middle of the night, my blood sugar is low. It's like, and it's like I take so long to get up because I feel so bad. Like, it's a thing called feeling shaky, basically. Like, so like let's say I raise my hand and my fingers start to move. I can tell that my blood sugar is low because I'm not moving my fingers myself. And it's just like, I have to go get some juice or some candy or stuff like that. But, I mean, otherwise, I feel like, I feel like it made me stronger, kind of. Because, I mean, I've dealt with it, re like, really well. I may have a couple breakdowns here and there because it gets so tiring. But otherwise, I think... I think I'll be good for the most part. Um, yeah, so 
I just wanted to tell y'all my story on how I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And, you know, don't feel bad or anything. Because it's not, it's not like, it's not like I'm dying or anything. I'll be fine. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys got a little information on diabetes. Um, but, yeah, I have nothing else to say. So, <laughs> peace.